Hi everybody, so um, thanks for coming and watching on our YouTube. Guys, before you even go into our topic that we're about to go into, please like, share and subscribe, okay? Let's just go straight into it. I'm joined here with our phenomenal lady, Maureen, uh, your surname. I didn't quite get it, so please let me know the surname so you can tell the truth. Um, oh, well, there you go. And our young lady Debbie, which is one of our really, really close friends. Um, and today we want to just have a little bit of honor, you know, just um, with Maureen, because Maureen is um, going to be honored tonight with her human rights defender. Human rights defender was captivating. So tell me, Maureen, the human rights defender, when we spoke earlier on, you told me there's so much to it and you really enjoyed it. Um, tell me, where did this passion come from? It came from the Human Rights Constitution, where the dignity of human beings must be protected regardless of the situation, and that is the reason why uh, passion is really within me. Um, seeing people and human uh, beings being so disrupted in their lives, and seeing children being disrupted, our youth being disrupted, for me, uh, I felt it was a gross human uh, rights violation, felt that it was necessary to work on trying to defend their rights by understanding the laws of South Africa and so far so good. It's taken me time but we're getting there and we're still getting there in the future. Thank you. Well there you go. So guys I was also intrigued by this because you know with us being women of colour we are sometimes ignorant to a Debbie, don't you think? I mean not many of us know the human rights, you know, um, we know that there's the Indian tribunal, but sometimes we don't go and take that, that, that initiative to worry about it. So I was really intrigued with that because people that lose their homes, it's an emotional something, you know. We, we don't know because we, most of us don't have much home. So just knowing that we have rights and how important it is, and that our young lady found it to be a passion. And so keep on educating us. Okay, so what do you think, uh, 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 Debbie? Yeah, yes, I would think so. And then also, you know, Maureen, the question is why? Why did you, was there, is there a story behind it? Why did you feel, you know, I want to help still? I don't know, so. Yes, thank you for the question. It's a very brilliant question. And just to let um, the people in South Africa know that litigation is a litigious um, a training exercise. Uh, it's an astronomical exercise, and it's an exercise that most poor, marginalized people simply can't afford. And so um, we've embarked on um, getting our government in South Africa to have an institution such as CSOS, the Community of Woods and Housing, and we work closely with them to ensure that the rights and the dignity and the Housing Act, which is the Section of Titles Act, if we stand with that, helps to protect citizens of South Africa. Thank you. There you go, there you go. And you know with us right now, you know, the youth, I'm, 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 I'm challenging a lot of the youth. Why? Because we sometimes um, don't know what career to choose. You know, uh, people want to go, or the youngsters want to go into legal, okay, paralegals, okay. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of reflections. I mean, you know, the doctors and the lawyers, they always want to go back to the books, you know. Um, and for the youngsters, do you think it's a career that uh, you know one could choose um, growing up? Is it a good investment to one to choose to go into understanding and studying human rights? Yes, indeed it is. Housing is a right to every citizen of this country. It's enshrined in our constitution. And exercising and packing the constitution where the housing is stated is a very uh, important part of that. And it's an act that gives us an opportunity to maintain the dignity where we live. Every house has, uh, is affected by environmental um, issues, and so it's important for you to understand how it works, what the cost of it is, what the procedure is, and I think it's important for you to work on both of those subjects to be able to understand. And then of course with the legal side of it, it's never a waste of exercise. It is always an exercise that must be uh, Followed, and it's an exercise that can only empower them to remain under the roofs that they obtain, regardless of how it is obtained. Absolutely. But Debbie, on that note, I just wanted to ask, and also to the viewers out there, as women of colour, 
You know, I grew up in a, in a place that was, at the time, part of that regime. We had to go on to different locations. You know, some people are from Sydenham Heights, some people are from RDP homes, some people have no choice, you know, and, and, and having that, the question is always, Mom, why did we have to stay here? Why do we have to stay in, in, in Howell Road or in Wendrick, in this place? Or, I mean, really, there's so many different places, guys, you know? So the question again goes out, because we are so questioned, is it motivation enough to want to learn our rights? Yes, I think it's crucial. You know, the more we know our rights, the better lives we can live. Knowing your rights eradicates poverty, you have education. The education is key in every way of living. And the more education we have through our chapter nine institutions, which South Africa does have available, our youth need to make uh, more use of that. Institutions need to um, ensure that they have the responsibility as the custodians of the, the modernized people to ensure that more education is given to our society for a better way of living for both the rich and the poor. Oh, there you go. Guys, this is, this is where we, we act at the moment. So the question out there, why we stay, we always say it's not where you stay, it's how you stay. So Maureen, we just wanted to ask you some wise words to the youngsters out there, um, so that we don't have to have these questions that are all in the atmosphere. Do you want to tell somebody something, some wise words of your experience, because you're going to be honored tonight. And acknowledgement, guys, acknowledgement, don't go through anything without being acknowledged because all these years it's important and I'm so excited for you. So just some wise words for the viewers out there and for the youngsters. I'm sure you just share with us. Yes, thank you very much. Um, South Africa is a beautiful country. It's a country that has the best constitution in the world. We have a constitution that we very um, seldom use to benefit from. And the youth has a land of opportunities. The sky is the limit in South Africa, and we need to embrace the country we live in. We need to embrace the laws that we have. We need to exercise the laws, and we need to learn more about the laws. And so the more we learn about the beautiful country that we live in, we will learn to appreciate it and respect our government, make sure that the youth go out there whilst they're in the years of their education, put it to good use. Make sure you're in school, make sure you're in university, because education, I'll say this again, eradicates poverty. So we can have a lovely society in the future. Thank you. There you go. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep, um, you know, we'll keep you updated on all the next topics. Morning, thank you for joining us today. And thank you, Debbie, for um, the, 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 what do we call it? The, 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 what do we call it again? Thank you. No, okay, yeah, that's all one thing, you know, I'm so honored to have done both of you here today. Um, but we want to say thank you guys for the support, thank you for the knowledge. We need it, okay? We guys all need to know this. So on that note, stay tuned, God bless, and take it easy. Bye. Thank you.